Islam promotes idolatry, and this Irony is important because this is an issue where Muslims really think Irony. they have all other religions, right? They got all other religions in check here. Appreciate you guys are all the idolaters except us. Now, <laughs> as I've pointed out in, in other contexts, false prophets don't come to you and say, hey, let's commit a bunch of idolatry. Yeah. <laughs> they come to you and say, hey, let's bow down and show special reverence, reverence to this thing over here, yeah. but when we do it, it's not idolatry. It's only when other people do this sort of thing that it's idolatry. Face the Kaaba in which no Muslim will say that Allah's presence fills it in a unique way like mm -hmm. the temple in Jerusalem. So, so they're bowing down to an to a empty, let's exactly. face it, pagan temple. There's exactly. no record anywhere of this ever prior to the time of Muhammad being anything but a pagan temple. Exactly. That's right. There's no denying that. <clears throat> but notice, 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 notice what we said. Uh, f uh, false prophets don't come to you saying, hey, let's go commit a bunch of idolatry. Ah, let's bow to that thing over, over there. But it's not idolatry. It's not idolatry when we bow to the same building that the pagans bowed down to. Truthfully, it's best for a Muslim scholar to, uh, um, to address these questions. Um, I'm a rabbi. But uh, the call is was made to me, and I will be glad to answer it. Okay, um, let me first state at the outset: Judaism is not an eclectic religion. But not. Uh, if if you are a true monotheist, if you say that there is one God and there is no other, as the prophet Isaiah and almost every prophet, not every prophet, scream this. There really isn't much room for Hare Krishna. So Judaism, unlike Eastern religions as an example, is just not eclectic. Islam uh, is also a, 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 a complete monotheism. They worship one God. And therefore Islam can't be eclectic. It can't be. You have Judaism and Islam, which are possibly two of the least eclectic religions in the world, Abrahamic faiths, and strangely, there is this mutual respect between Judaism and Islam, which what I'm trying to, the reason I point this out is it just illustrates that there's something really interesting going on here. Uh, the reason why Judea, Judaism respects Islam deeply is because Muslims truly worship one God. Read chapter 2, verse 163, and you will understand why Muslims submit themselves to one God and no false God. It, does this mean that Judaism and Christian, uh, Judaism and Islam are identical? No but there's a, an enormous mutual respect. Now, leave politics out the window. Just leave it out the window. Jew, that's why Jews and Muslims uh, really got along so well for so long. Until recent years, for political, uh, unfortunately a political problem, but this has nothing to do with... Um, now, so, then, so this has nothing to do with religion, it has to do with politics, and politics poisons everything, everything. So the question is, if in fact, uh, and, and I, I'm gonna, I, I will stand up for my cousins. I have no problem doing that. If in fact that uh, Muslims are uh, are submitting themselves before the one true God, why are they going on a Hajj, which is one of the pillars of Islam? Why are they going to Mecca? And they're going to what's called the Kaaba. That word simply means the cube. And they're, they're going around it seven times. Why are they doing this? After all, that Kaaba was a place of idolatry. And it was. And every Muslim in the world will say to, to you right now that's, that's watching and listening to the show is going, Amen, he's absolutely correct. There were actually hundreds of gods that were worshipped in Mecca uh, during the Jahiliya, which means at a time when the Arab world was in a state of, the word really means stupidity or lack of knowledge. Okay? 
the key point of the Kaaba is that uh, following the advent of Islam, meaning of Muhammad's message uh, to to his constituents is, and that's, it's really in, in Islamic tradition, I should correct that, following the teachings of the Quran, Muslims then took what was a place of idolatry and transformed it into a place where one God is worshipped. So therefore, every Muslim will say, of course the Kaaba was a place where hundreds of gods are worshipped. They, this is a very well-known part of the history of the pre-Islamic period of, of, of Mecca. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that prior to the advent of Islam, Arabs in that region were burying their daughters alive. So the key is that when Muslims um, go on a hajj, which um, in, in the Islamic faith, every Muslim is required to do that if they're able to financially and, and physically, if they're able to, they're required once in their lifetime to go to Mecca on this hajj. They're not going there worship a cube, or worshiping the Kaaba, which means cube. They they are worshiping one God, and they are sh shouting the name La Ilaha Il Allah. So the so the answer to the question is that uh, that the Kaaba was a place of of idol worship until the advent of Islam, and the people who are Muslims worship one God, and they worship no other, and that is the most central creed of Islam. In fact, if you don't accept that there is one God and no other, and that God is Allah, and every Muslim believes that Abraham was a prophet of blessed memory, every Muslim believes that Yitzhak was a prophet of blessed memory, every Muslim believes that Yaakov was a prophet of blessed memory, every one of them do. I, there are disputes among Muslims on fine points, but there is no such thing as a Muslim who does not believe in the Quran. Okay, so therefore, yes, the Kaaba was transformed from a place of idolatry into a place of worshiping one God, and therefore, they're not worshiping idols by going to the Kaaba; they're worshiping one God, and th that's all they—that's what they're expressing in their pilgrimage. So that's the answer to your question. Nanti kalau ada kawan-kawan ngejek di internet, apa tu orang Islam menyembah batu? Mana ada orang Islam menyembah batu? Kami bukan menyembah batu. Itu tugu, tugu dibangun Allah Taala untuk titik dunia. Tugu dia sama macam tu. Jadi kalau saya solat menghadap ke dinding rumah saya, ada orang bilang tengok tu somat menyembah dinding. Tak ada orang menyembah Kaabah itu. Kaabah itu tugu, kubus empat arah. Utara, Selatan, Timur, Barat Mereka semua menghadap ke sini Arah kiblatnya satu Tuhannya satu Bahasa yang dipakai satu Dari mulai Turki Sampai Amsterdam Sampai Lubu Alwang Allah Akbar Cuma orang Turki agak beda sikit Orang Turki tak bisa bilang kap Ke H Allah Akbar Anda sebab itu maka semuanya sama. La ilaha illa ana tak ada tuhan selain aku. Wa ana rabbukum fa'budun. Aku tuhan satu-satunya. Maka inilah agama yang mempersatukan. Kadang kalau kita berdoa di samping Ka'bah tu tengoklah. Samping Ka'bah. Tengok sebelah kanan putih si putih putih. Sampai ke tiang pun putih. Tengok pula sebelah kiri hitam sampai tapak tangan pun hitam. Lafadlah bina al-Arabi wal-Ajam Tak ada beda antara Arab dengan non-Arab Walafarqa bina al-Abiyadi wal-Aswad Tak ada beda antara yang putih dengan yang hitam Kullukum min Adam semua kamu dari Adam Wa Adam bin Tuhab Mau yang putih, mau yang hitam Semuanya sama-sama anak cucu-cicit keturunan Adam